Hey guys, so, um, I have a collective haul for you guys. This is some stuff that I've bought in the past week or two. Anyway, so yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. And there are some awesome sales that I ran into and just wanted to share with y'all. So yeah, let's just get started because there's a couple things. So first off, I went to Sally's Beauty Supply to pick up some hair dye because I have pink hair now at the bottom of my hair. Um, and so while I was there, I saw this and it's the Claudia Stevens um, found, uh, Facial Prep Foundation Base. And it creates the, and it says it creates the perfect base for your foundation, smooth skin texture for a silky flawless finish. And this is what it actually looks like. It's this little bottle. And you get... Uh, 30 grams or 1.05 ounces of product, and I believe this cost me six dollars, five or six dollars, something around there. So while I was at Sally's Beauty Supply, I decided to pick up some glitter, and so I picked up this one. It's the Sally's Girl Sparkle Effects Glitter, and it's in gleaming green, and so it's like a neon green glitter, and I just really like it. That was really pretty. Um, so then I hit the Ross to go do some clothes shopping, and I, and I went into the makeup aisle, and I picked up these fake eyelashes, and these are for, sh from, these eyelashes are from Sugar Kiss, and it's like a sister company to Elf, and so, um, it came with individual lashes, um, natural eyelashes, um, really wispy eyelashes, really long wispy ones like these, um, I also came with feather ones, um, crisscross with rhinestones, and then just regular crisscross. And normally this set retails at $12, but at Ross I only paid 6 so that's pretty cool. Then I hit up the dollar store, because that's like my favorite place ever, and I bought these little baskets to hold stuff in. They're really cute. And then I also picked up some blushes from the makeup aisle. And the two blushes that I got are from LA Colors. The first one is called Pink Blush, and it's this like pink color, and it has glitter on it, and that's what it looks like. It's pretty frosty. These are really pigmented. I really like them, and they're a dollar. That's pretty cool. And then the second one is in Toast, and it's a dark pink color, and again, this one shimmers well. That's what it looks like. And then I went to Walgreens, and I picked up a couple of stuff. And when I was there, they were having a sale on these, on the, these Revlon Color Stay Mineralized Finishing Powder. And so I got the one in number 020 Suntan Matte. And this is what it looks like. And it's a color. This is actually kind of shimmery, even though it's called Suntan Matte. And it was on sale, I believe, for three or four dollars something like that so yeah also while well, I was there I picked up this um, bronzer from Wet n Wild and this is um, number 742A Goddess yeah. and that's what it looks like and that's the color and it's just a matte bronzer the reason I picked this up was because I need a new bronzer to contour with that isn't shimmery and um I used to use my um, NYC Sunny, but um, I've gotten a little too dark for that, and so that's why I picked this one up. It's a little bit darker. Also, I picked up this um, Sinful Colors Nail Polish, and it's in Neon Melon, and it's a neon yellow color. It looks kind of greenish, but it's a neon yellow. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Then I went to Rite Aid, and I picked up a foundation that I really wanted to try out, and it's this... Neutrogena Skin Clearing um, Oil Free Makeup. It's a blemish treatment and a salicylic acid. And the reason I picked this up was because um, a couple of years ago, I think it was like two years ago, um, Clinique came out with a foundation that was supposed to control your acne and um, dry out the acne that was on your face. And I tried it and I really, really liked it. Um, the only downfall of it was it's it was $25 a bottle and it was like one fluid ounce and this is a fluid ounce so you got like that much product. Then once I saw this I decided I'd give it a try and this uh, so this one cost anywhere around from $11 to $14 depending on the drugstore you buy it from and the color I got was tan number 120. So yeah I just wanted to test this out and see how it works. Also while I was there 
I picked up some lipsticks. I I have two from NYC and then two from Went Wild. The two from NYC that I have are the first one that I have is in 316 Blossom. And that's what it looks like. It's a really vibrant pink color. And that's a swatch of it. It's really nice. And the next one that I got was number 305 Ruby. And that's what it looks like. It's like an orangey reddish color with some shimmer. Yeah, some nice gold shimmer going through. It's really nice. I really like it. Then from Went Wild, I picked this one up. This is 525D. And the name is Retro Pink. And it looks like that. It's, um... It's like a purpley pink lipstick. I really liked it. Um, I thought it was really cool. So, yeah. And then... And then I have this one. It's 511B Nuevo Pink. I think that's what it's called. And it looks like Minaj pink color. And that's what it looks like. It's still kind of purpley, but a lot more pink than the um, retro pink. So, yeah. I thought these were really nice. Um, for some reason, I have a thing for pink lipsticks now. So, yeah. So, then the last place I hit up for some makeup and stuff is big lots as always and i'm so glad i went to there because they are starting to sell a lot of l'oreal hip stuff i have three things from l'oreal hip and the first two are the eye coals the ones that are like really trippy it's like powdered eyeliner that's what it looks like and i got um one in 207 navy coal and then 503 burgundy coal and so these were both a dollar they normally retail for about ten dollars um depending where you are um or changes so yeah and i picked them up for a dollar and i'm actually wearing the blue one and i actually really like them um, and so here's the swatch of the coals this is a burgundy and that's the blue and they're really nice they're kind of shimmery but they're still pretty cool and so then this, um also um i saw picked up the story L hip cream liner and this is in brown this was also a dollar and i was really excited when i saw there was a dollar because these normally retail for twelve dollars so to pick one up for a dollar was pretty insane so yeah that was pretty cool um and it also came with a little in gold brush so anyways that's everything i got um i hope you guys enjoyed my haul and i will talk to you later bye